Hello, welcome back to jo Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This idea came from Pinterest um, by a lady called Nikki Spencer. Um, that was all the only name I had. I need one name. Um, obviously I've changed things in it the way so it's not exactly like hers. Different colours, different ribbon, different layout. But that's where the idea come from. To make this card I used a stamp set, an old one, Daisy Lane. Like I said on Monday's card, you know, I was going through my stamps and looking for old stamp sets that were carried over from the 19, 2019 catalogues, 2019-2020 to the 2020-21 catalogue. And I come across this. So on this one we've used, we're going to use, the two daisies and the fern. And butterfly wishes we're going to use, uh, birthday wishes. On the inside I stamp, oh this is just one of my own stamps that I use to stamp inside. So for this I've got a piece of rich raspberry cardstock at 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 7 eighths, folded in half. A piece of rich raspberry at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. This you would need for the inside at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, but I used the um, edge dies delicate lace dies and cut down each side like that so that will go inside like so once I've stamped my message on it I've also got a piece of white card so this is a stitch triangle sorry rectangle at two and three quarters by four and one eighth so it's Two and three quarters by four and two and three quarters by four and one eighth there. And I've also got some uh, bits of um, the stitch lace dies which I'm going to glue either side of the rectangle. Once I get all the bits out. I'll just cut that up, do that now. And what we'll do is stick that other side of the rectangle. And this bit we'll use to stamp birthday wishes on. So I no longer need that because I explained what I did with that. Right, now the flowers and everything we're using the punches. The large and the small daisy punch, we will use them. I have done two flowers like that there. I've also punched all the leaves out. Now these leaves I have actually got had in my box. That one's not been folded so I've got three here that need um, putting into shape. So all I do with that is get my tweezers and just twist it lifting up the edges or pushing down the card just to twist it into shape just to give it a bit of dimension that's all it is. I don't even know if I'll need all these, but they're in my box, so I thought I'd use them. I think I punched about three more out. Not sure. So we've got them. We've also got a piece of, put the protector back on because they're sharp, uh, some ribbon. Now this I did get out of the clearance rack. 
Um, this is what is this? Metallic edge ribbon, three eighths of an inch, and all we're going to do is just cut three bits off, fold them in half, and just pop them under the flowers like that. So let's cut some off. There we are, three little bits. And they're about two and a half inches long. Tuck that in. Keeps it neat. So we'll sort them out when we need them. Right, first of all, we need some scrap to do the rest of our daisies. We need one more daisy flower. So with rich raspberry ink and a large daisy, we're going to stamp that down there. All right, remember when you stamp these daisies to stamp them, um, the points north to south, because that's the way the punch goes. Right, we need two large ones. And two small ones. That's all we need. And while I'm here, might as well stamp birthday wishes. can sort that out afterwards and the message that goes on this I'm going to stamp it in rich raspberry the other one I stamped in black So that, that and that and go to the side for now and then to and sort them out shortly. Right, let's get our punches in and punch these flowers out, flowers, daisy petals out. Don't know why, but when I come to punch these out, I get the shakes. And it's not the camera because I was getting the shakes yesterday. I think it is, it's just that they're heavy. The punches are quite heavy. Right. One. So empty now, all that mess. Right, glue, and we'll just glue these together. Put glue in the center, and then glue them 
of each other or offset the same with that one and then we just glue this in the middle of the big one and then we just push in the middle and bring it up <coughs> sorry about that and that's our flower done we need three of them which I've got here and then we need to do I have got some these aren't stamping up some faceted gems I don't know where I've got them from uh, nice dark gems which I thought looked nice in the flowers Just place them in the middle of each flower. There we are. That's our little daisies done right we'll pop them to one side right, next we'll do these um, ribbons right I don't have any mini glue dots left. All I've got are these big ones. So we'll just have to use them. And put that there. Hold it over. I mean it doesn't matter if it's lumpy or not because you're going to put them under the flower and no one's going to see them. that down there and the same as this one look hobby craft mini glue dots they're not mini glue dots I thought I did have some mini glue dots in my cupboard but I went through it and couldn't find none and all I found was them and I didn't order none with this order so I'll have to get order some right that's that now then bringing this in First, we're going to stamp our leaf with Old Olive. I don't know why I stamped this on because by the time I put the flowers on and everything, you couldn't see it. But I'm going to stamp it on anyway. So I've put one up that end, one in each corner. Just like that. And then we're going to stick our edges on. Stupid girl. 
Try putting it on the right side. Like this. All I did was just a bit of glue down the edge of my rectangle and glue that like that. I think it looks quite nice. So I do the same the other side. This will go on our card like so. Oh no, we've got something else to do with this yet. Right, put the lid on. Bring back our rich raspberry ink and a piece of scrap paper. I want. This will do. And our small flower, and all we done was I did some daisies round the edge of a card. Filling in gaps. That's all I did. Just round the edge. No use doing the middle because you can't see it. So now we'll glue this on. And we'll just pop that in the middle. Like that, and pop this on the front of our card. Like so. We might as well put this piece in the inside as well. So I don't forget. Like that. Oh, we need that. Off. Right now then, arranging the flowers. See what I mean about the leaves. You won't be able to see them. And um, we're going to put them on like that. So, put that one down first. We're going to glue the ribbons and these just go under the flower. I'll take a little while to stick, but they will stick. Well, they do with this glue. there. 
and then we just go around and stick some leaves underneath. And I've got two sorts here by the way. I've got Old Olive and uh, Mossy Meadow green leaves. And I'm just taking a mossy meadow and then an old olive and putting them underneath. Right in the middle here, I only put one. Don't want to hide the ribbon. Um, one up here where I should put one down there hmm don't think I need any more I think that's enough Then that just leaves this to sort out. Our birthday wishes, which is not straight at all. It's better. Right now then, I want that to go under there. And we're going to flag the end. And we're going to point this end. Because I don't want it all sticking out. of the flower like that and I'm going to put a dimensional under there to hold it down yeah that would be nice just a little mini dimensional there The rest I will glue onto the daisies. There, there we are. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos where I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.